Alice Lloyd Media Day for men's baseball. Uh, Coach Cornett, there's always a level of excitement anytime you can start a new season. What are your thoughts on getting this new season underway? Well, we're very excited about getting the season underway. We've been working hard. We put a lot of time in this fall and so far in the spring. And uh, got a good group of kids that worked hard. And, and uh, we're excited about it. We begin the season, the spring weather coming up. And just look forward to getting going and, uh, get, and starting the River States Conference. We're excited about it. Who are some of the returnees that you're going to lean on this year in terms of leadership and pulling your team together? Well, you're looking at most of them right now. These guys are our seniors. Uh, these guys are leaders of the ball club. have done a very good job this fall and so far this spring and, and uh, sort of, you know, being leaders and being mentors to our younger guys. And they've worked very hard in their career and they've worked very hard this year. So uh, we're very pleased and excited about what they're able to do and, and the leadership that they're showing has been, been really, really good. And, and I think it's going to carry us a long way. Coach Hatfield, there are some new names and faces on the roster this season. Anybody in particular that the fans should keep an eye on this year? Yeah, there's a couple guys that uh, that I want to, to mention. Uh, we brought in uh, uh, two new catchers, uh, two transfers, uh, Cole Bishop and uh, Corey Jefferson. Uh, they've got some experience, so they'll uh, those are two guys to look out for. Uh, we've got uh, several young guys that we brought in, uh, Kaiser Turner, Third baseman, he's a guy to uh, to look out for, come off the bench, do some things for us. Uh, Challen, Massengill, and uh, Nicholas Cosworth, uh, two young outfielders. Uh, uh, Aaron Rothballer as well. Uh, those two, those two have a lot of speed that we'll we'll be able to use. And Aaron's got a lot of pop, kid, kid out of Louisville. So those are the guys that to uh, definitely be uh, looking out for. Uh, talk about your schedule and, in particular, what's in store from the other teams in the River States Conference. Well, it's exciting to be back in River States for one, but uh, uh, since we've been out uh, for several years now, the River States, uh, a lot of the teams haven't seen us, and, and our teams continue to improve, uh, improve each year. And we've got a venture ball club that uh, has improved so much through the fall, through the spring already. And I just think that a lot of River State schools uh, just need to watch out. I mean, we we working really hard and everything like that. So just don't overlook us. You know, we're we're working hard. We're playing hard right now and everything. So, but schedule over wise, we got a good schedule that will allow us to win a lot of baseball games. So very excited. I'm gonna ask the players questions now. Uh, Noah, as you get ready to begin a new season, what's your expectations for the 2022-2023 campaign? Well, for this year, uh, we're going to be a lot better defensively. And uh, if we stay fundamentally sound, we should win a lot more. Plenty more games this year, actually. <laughs> but uh, I think we just need to grow as men each day, and that will help us become better on the ball field. Can Obviously, you want to build on things that made you and your team successful last season, but what are areas that you as an individual and the team as a whole need to improve on? Uh, I feel like those two things kind of play together in the room. Um, as, as an individual, I'd say leadership and focus, but that also plays into the whole team as well, uh, both on and off the field. I feel like if we were able to walk in and just really – finish out games and know what we had to do and do it, then we'd be very successful. Peyton Branham, if you can pinpoint one thing that you have done or have to do to be successful this season, what would it be? Um, it's hard to pinpoint one thing for a team to be successful, but I think if I had to pinpoint one thing, it would be working together. Uh, I think working together is the, the main thing that uh, can help us be successful this year. Isaiah Beckett, talk about how tough the River States Conference is. Are there any River States Conference matchups you're looking forward to this season? You know, it's a lot tougher than what we what we came from. We're looking forward to it. Uh, West Virginia uh, Tech is awful close to home for a couple of us seniors, so I think it's going to be a good matchup. And that was media day here at Pippa Passes. Hope to see you this season.